Today's gonna be really interesting for me because I really don't have a lot of energy left in the tank and I'm gonna try to muster everything I have to put this video out. Finding motivation as a freelancer is really difficult sometimes. It can come in a variety of forms. It can be caused by a variety of reasons. And in this video, I'm really gonna try to break down the cause of a lack of motivation and how to deal with that. Let's start off with a little bit of a story. So back when I was in college and to an extent working a nine to five job, I really did not get out of bed easily. I struggled to keep focus and to not feel drowsy the entire day. I struggled to put my best work out there. A lot of that had to do with the work I was doing and it also had to do with the environment I was in. Let's talk first about a lack of motivation and the root of that being uh, what you're doing, okay? So you can have an, a, a large amount of motivation if you are working on something that you love, okay? The other day I was going surfing and it's pretty easy to find energy to surf for me. Sometimes it's not easy to find a lot of energy doing monotonous work tasks. Um, so definitely for me, the reason I started freelancing was to find new motivation. And I will say uh, I'm a lot more motivated as a person now than I was three, four years ago. Um, I get up really early in the morning. I work eight, 10 hour days and it goes by like that. Like I work Saturdays sometimes. I have plenty of motivation compared to what I had in the past. Now let's flip that on its head. Nowadays, I have a new issue with motivation. It's not that I don't like what I'm doing typically, it's more so psychological issues. One of the things I would really encourage a freelancer that's currently doing what they're doing and, and losing motivation is to ask two questions. One, do I need a change of scenery, okay? Uh, Pre-COVID, this used to be my bread and butter. I would wait, wake up, start my day, and feel like I needed a little oomph. And my solution was to go to a local coffee shop and be surrounded by people and be in a productive space. My home office wasn't cutting it for me those days. That's question number one. If you're having issues as a freelancer, have you changed your scenery recently? Have you gone on a walk outside? Uh, Steve Jobs used to go on walks all the time with um, people he worked with to come up with new ideas. And I can tell you, walking, running, getting outside, that's where all my, my inspiration comes from these days. That's question one. Are you changing your scenery enough? Are, is your environment in need of a switch, okay? Two, this is a huge one. This is something I've discovered even within the last like month or two. Um, are you limiting distractions, okay? And I'm not talking about, um, oh, I need to go take out my dog because I work from home or my kid or I need to go take the car into the shop. That's a distraction you should know is a distraction. But what is what is your solution when work is being a distraction? That sounds kind of counterintuitive, right? Because like, how can you be distracted by work when you need to do work? But one of the big things for me that I've started doing recently is setting aside time in my day where I do not look at email, I do not look at my Slack, and I do not look at any phone-based notification. I actually turn do not disturb on on both. And that time nowadays is happening really early in the morning. I can tell you right now though, two hours of uninterrupted time can actually feel like four for me now. If you're losing motivation, ask the question, am I losing motivation because I'm constantly being derailed? You have to, you have to get rid of that. If that's happening to you, you have to get rid of that to be motivated to, to do something. The way that I do this now at a macro level, on a day-to-day -day level, is certain days are dedicated to creative flow, where I'm really expecting myself to get into a state of flow. If you don't know what a state of flow is, look it up. I might make a video on that down the road, but you cannot get into a state of flow if you're answering one, two sentence emails every 10, 15 minutes. You just will not be able to do it. And you've got to cut that out. You've got to limit that. I think I think if you can do that as a freelancer, you are really 
destined for success. That's one of the things that a salaried job or a nine to five corporate job and freelancing differ. In a nine to five environment, you can kind of switch gears more and not be penalized for it, right? Like I have clients now that I tell them a delivery day, if I don't hit that, how does that make me look? Bad, right? So I have to limit those distractions and I have to be really, really strict on myself and my time. Time is everything. If you're new to the freelance game and this is a real problem, do the two things that I just told you. Change of scenery, limit distractions. If you are in the freelance game and you are losing motivation because of what you're working on, question what you're working on. Either do you need to fire that client? Do you need to change the kind of work you're doing? Have you signed yourself up for something that isn't really your forte? Ask those questions. If you're in a nine to five and you're feeling that way, then you, as a creative, you probably need to change jobs because it will stifle your creativity and your abilities will tank. It's not like riding a bike. Design is, is something you have to constantly practice. And if your job is not enabling that, then get out. Um, so that's really the three question approach I have to finding motivation. Let me know in the comments if you guys are dealing with this and there's other issues you're facing and I might be able to make another video. Uh, but for me, those three are a great place to start and things I still look back on today. If your job, whether it's freelance or nine to five, is not giving you motivation and causing you to not get out of bed every morning, get out of there. <laughs>